time to find out about the history of top K-pop artists and groups. And then more about their hit songs and stories related to them. So get ready for a wonderful music journey with me, Lim. And me, Tasha, on Born, Born to Rock, Rock the, the Mic. Mike. Hi, Tasha. Hey, Lim. So let me start off by saying that fall has finally arrived. Yeah, I know. The weather has gotten so chilly, so please be careful not to catch a cold. Every time fall's here, ballad songs dominate the K-pop scene, right? And there are quite a lot of singers who are known for their ballad music. Right, like the King of Life performances, Lee Sung Chol, who recently released a new album. And the King of Ballad Music, Shin Sung Hoon, who will be releasing a new album very soon. That's right, and there's Song Si Kyung, who is loved for his sweet voice, and as well as Lee Seung Gi and Park Hyo Shin. Well, there's another singer who is very famous for his ballad music, and that's who we'll focus on today. Right, he has released numerous ballad songs that are now considered as classics. So now let's reveal who we'll be talking today, talking about today on Born to Rock the Mic today. It is the original multi-entertainer Im Chang Jung who achieved great success as a singer and as an actor. Im Chang Jung made his debut as a child actor 23 years ago in the 1990 film North Korean Partisan in South Korea. And he made his singing debut 18 years ago. Right, and these days there are many multi-entertainers who are active as a singer and as an actor. But back then that wasn't very common. So you could say that Im Chang Jung was one of the original multi-entertainers. That's right. He recently made a comeback with a single album after a three-year break and is promoting the title track, A Guy Like Me. It's a ballad piece that's perfect for the fall season. It's a simple yet emotional ballad song with a great blend of beautiful piano, melody and heart-wrenching vocals. And it's already receiving a lot of love. Im Chang Jung has had many hits that top the charts, and I can't wait to share them with our viewers. Me neither. Well, let's take a look at his previous album, starting with his first one. Like we mentioned earlier, Im Chang Jung made his acting debut initially but didn't gain much fame and success as an actor. So he decided to give singing a shot and released his first album in 1995. But unfortunately, his first and second album were a flop and didn't gain much su success or attention. It was until his third album that he gained nationwide fame and became a household name. It caused a huge sensation and the title track that highlights the sad yet explosive focus of Im Chang Jung sent him straight to the top. That's right. And this song stayed at number one for five weeks in a row on a music program and it was awarded a prize called the Golden, Cru Golden Cup. Another track on his third album titled Marry Me also won the Golden Cup by ranking in first place for five consecutive weeks as well. And this song is truly a classic. People still sing it as a proposal or wedding song even to this day. Mm, and that's right. And in the best album that was latest released, he sang it as a duet with Lee Soo Eun, who's known for her delicate vocals. Yeah, and I thought their voices sounded very harmonious together. Well, I heard that you're going to sing one of these songs for us today. Oh yes, I'm going to be singing Marry Me for you today. Okay, let's hear it. sounded so sweet. I mean, who would be able to resist that, right? Thank you. Hopefully one day someone will sing this song for me. I don't want to be the one singing this for a guy. So well, anyways, <laughs> Im Chang Jung won the Golden Cup twice with, his, with the tracks from his third album in 1997, reaching the peak of his career. Right, and his immense popularity and success was proven once again at the KPS Music Awards, where he was honored the grand prize. And on top of that, he caught a lot of attention as an actor. Right, he left a strong impression on the audience of the movie Beat, where he played a supporting role next to Tong Hong and Ko Soyoung. And he was praised for his amazing acting skills. 
From then on, his popularity broke through the roof and his following album was also very successful. And every song he released instantly shot straight to the top, including the sad ballad song, Becoming a Star. He also made a complete transformation from one of the tracks on his fourth album. And I'm talking about the exciting dance song, Dance with the Wolf. I know, and he was so super talented, being able to pull off both ballad music and dance music. Oh, and he also starred on a comedy series called People of Kung Chun, and that was during that time. He came back a year later with his fifth album with heart-wrenching ballad songs. The ballad piece, Love Affair, with a sad intro also reached number one. And it is still considered one of the best songs released by Im Chang Jung. And after this album, he released My Love, Look At Me, and Sad Monologue, which all shot straight to the top, to the charts, and firmly established himself as one of the top singers in the K-pop industry. But unfortunately for the fans of Im Chang Jung's music, he announced that he'll be retiring as a singer after his 10th album, in order to focus on his acting career. And even the album title was called Bye, and the title track, A Shot of Suju, was an amazing song that made it even harder for the fans to let him go. Im Chang Jung began focusing on his acting career and established himself as a film actor. He broadened his acting spectrum by playing various characters in diverse films. For instance, he starred in the sexy comedy film Sex is Zero and the heartwarming film Miracle on First Street and Scout. Im Chang Jung honed his acting skills by starring in multiple movies and even won the Best Actor Award at the 44th Pixar Arts Awards for his performance in Scout. Well, you know how you realize how much you love something when it's no longer in your life? Well, that was the case for Im Chang Jung and his music. And he returned to the music scene in 2009. That's right, he made a comeback after six years with his 11th album. And some criticized him for carelessly announcing that he'll retire as a singer, but the music lovers totally welcomed him with open arms. The 11th album comprised of songs that were dedicated to his music fans, who have been waiting for him for his return to stage for many years. The title track, A Long Time No See, revealed how he felt about meeting his music fans after a long break. And when he returned, he apologized for saying that he'll retire, explaining that it was a greedy and a foolish decision. And I hope he never ever says that he'll retire again, because he delivers great music for all the fans out there. But I don't think he will retire anytime soon because he's just back with a single album. That's right. He released a single title, A Guy Like Me, after a three-year break. And he's touching many people with his emotional vocals. This is a minor chord ballad with heart-wrenching lyrics about not being able to move on after a separation. And it swept the charts upon its release, proving his popularity as a ballad singer once again. After seeing his live performance on stage, netizens praised him by saying he's an amazing live singer. It just sounds like as if he's lip-syncing to the recorded track. And I got goosebumps from hearing the first verse, because his voice has so much depth. And I hope he continues to delight his fans with much more of his fantastic live performances. Well, he reviewed his plans to promote his single on music programs, as well as appear on variety shows and comedy programs as well. I hope all of you look forward to this witty and talented entertainer. Now, why don't we check out a music video by Im Chang Jung, who's showing much more depth in a singing voice. Sure, here's a music video for a guy like me. So, here, here we go. go. Thank 
그 목소리 보고 싶어 일어설 수도 없어 시간은 잊으라 하는데 오히려 선명해진 그날은 그대 모습이 떠난다는 말을 하려던 것 같아 초라한 나의 어깨에 차마 말을 못했었나 봐 그랬나 봐 선명한 목소리 <목소리>